This summer around the Southwest feature is brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. Crowds of all ages gathered in Shonovan for a full weekend of celebration marking the grand opening of the Crescent Point Wickenheiser Center. From celebrity street hockey and golf tournaments to the gala banquet and live auction, supporters of the community and the new $14 million facility were out to toast the celebration. With the fundraising continuing well into the wee hours of the evening, as the live auction raised close to $130,000 for an array of hockey memorabilia. Community spirit, which comes as no surprise to Mayor Sharon Dickey. Yeah, it's all come together, uh, wonderful state-of-the-art uh, facility, you know, we're so proud. Uh, $14 million uh, th that, uh, that has been put into this uh, uh, place and uh, we're very proud to say that only $3 million has been uh, financed and that's all that we owe on it. So we'll be, do be doing lots of fundraising. And as for the namesake of the Crescent Point Wickenheiser Centre, Haley Wickenheiser was proud to be back home for the opening celebration of the centre and the museum on the second floor, which includes many of her professional memories over the years. No, I really didn't. I mean, I never thought I would have a real career in hockey either, and now I can say I've made my living through the game. So uh, I guess, you know, it's, it's testament to how far women's hockey has come in this country and for young female hockey players to uh, look and see that one of them has had a rink named after them. I think that's really inspiring and certainly a big honour for me. From this early architectural model back in 2007 to the present day, the new Crescent Point Wickenheiser Centre is truly a dream come true for the town of Shaunavon and its residents. With its former Jubilee Arena aging beyond repair and insurance coverage, the decision was made to build a new rink complex. A decision which Mayor Dickey says raised a few eyebrows. This centre has been very... Uh, people have really supported it, but there's been a lot of controversy. Uh, when the Council of the Day six years ago made the decision to go ahead and build. It was controversial. Uh, the economy wasn't as strong as it could have been, but something, uh, something told us to make that decision and uh, there's no question and, and we went through lean times, but we're also celebrating the good times and we have, a, we have an oil industry that is beyond uh, you know, our expectation. Our local credit union has been wonderful and our businesses, the people of this community and uh, all around. We've, we've had donations from all around the world and people that just know that as a small community it takes a lot and, and there are, I, I dare say there would be very few communities that could have a, a facility like this in a, a town the size of Shaunavon. The road to getting the project off the ground into its full-scale opening in 2011 was a long road, following years of fundraising and personal trips by Dickey to Calgary herself, who visited many oil companies requesting donations for the project. Hours of dedication which former town councillor Sheila Gronhove says was well worth the effort. I can't imagine having no rink in a town the size of Shonama. Um kids to play hockey, people who curl, all of the winter activities would be taken out of town and if the parents are out of town every night and every day after school with a child going somewhere, the business goes with them because they don't have time to come back and shop here, they'd have to do their shopping where they are. A project which came to fruition through a number of key partnerships and a long list of donors as seen on this key wall at the centre including the Shonovan Credit Union, who came on board with the project right from the start. We, uh, corporately, we've given $250,000. We also had uh, 250000 through an interest-free loan program. We didn't quite achieve the 250; it was 240 some thousand. So our membership and organization are close to half a million dollars. And for this launch this weekend, we also uh, were a major sponsor for the banquet tonight and we're, we have contributed uh, $20,000 to that as well. So, In the coming months, fundraising will continue for the centre to pay down the town's $3 million loan. Additional items will be added to the Wickenheiser Museum to include athletes from across the southwest. And the community will work towards attracting other events to the Crescent Point Wickenheiser Centre. The Crescent Point Wickenheiser Centre includes an Olympic-sized hockey arena, six-sheet curling rink and the Wickenheiser Museum. Fundraising for the new Crescent Point Wickenheiser Centre in Shaunavon began back in 2002. Watch our entire summer around the Southwest Tour online 
at mylocaltv.ca.